Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of The Cali Effect. Today, I'm going to be talking about five outrageously overpriced cards. Now, when you take in consideration about five outrageously uh, outrageously overpriced cards, I can't really consider the cards that are Shonen Jump, mainly because the Shonen Jump cards are, you know... They're prize cards, so of course they're going to be expensive. So those are taken out of consideration, and then a couple of other cards because ob it's obvious why they are expensive or taken out of consideration. First, we're going to be starting off with Magic Formula. Now, Magic Formula originally debuted as a secret rare inside of Gladiator's Assault, and Gladiator's Assault is essentially known for being one of the hardest packs to pull secrets from, period. Um, there's, I, How many times have you guys seen a Necroface? A secret rare Necroface? Go ahead, I'll wait exactly um i'm granted i'm pretty sure you guys on youtube are gonna post dude i seen that secret rare necro face too strong but uh just the fact that it's extremely hard to pull secret rares out of the set and magic formula is a nostalgic card magic formula did see a huge spike in price when it first came out and it's still around 70 to 90 bucks for a card that's not even really usable at all, even with the reprint coming out. Um, that's really about it. It's nothing really special about this card. There's nothing good about this card other than it's a nostalgic reprint out of Gladiator, out of a set that is hard to pull secret rares. Just about all of them are pretty expensive for no reason. Next, we're going to be talking about Dark Magician. And when I mean Dark Magician, I'm not talking about the Structure Deck Dark Magician. I'm not even talking about the original LOB Dark Magician. What I'm talking about is the Dual Terminal Dark Magician. Now, that card is seen at about 100 bucks just for a Dual Terminal Dark Magician. I can't even tell you why this card is so outrageously expensive. The only thing that can come to mind, the reason why it would be outrageously expensive, is because it would probably be a short print, maybe. And on top of that, the fact that dual terminal no longer exists. So you cannot pull any dual terminal cards unless somebody is secretly hiding a dual terminal sheet somewhere in their basement. It is almost impossible to get dual terminal cards fresh out the pack, especially Dark Magician, seeing that it came from an older dual terminal set. Um, with that being said, Dark Magician is going to be an extremely overpriced card for a long time, you know, seeing that it's dual terminal. Next would be blue eye shining dragon and no guys i'm not talking about the blue eye shining dragon you pull inside of the movie i'm talking about the real blue eye shining dragon the, the blue eye shining dragon that came as a secret rare and retro pack too now this card has seen a price between 70 and 90 bucks for what reason well why it's because it's a secret rare and retro pack too um if you guys can look at a similar card light and dark dragon not as half as expensive as blue eye shining dragon because it's a secret and retro pack too it does hold some sort of merit one can assume that retro pack 2 must be an extremely hard card to pull secrets and since the set is outdated and they don't print it anymore that could add on top of blue eyes shiny dragon being so expensive um the effect is really horrible the stats are horrible just everything about this card is horrible there's so many cards that outclass it and it requires you to neg so much just to summon it so why would this card be so expensive the retro pack 2 is the only thing i can tell you those collectors really drive the price next I'm going to be talking about Dark Duel Stories. Not exactly the game. We can get on the game any other time. But inside of this Dark Duel Stories came Blue Eyes White Dragon. And Blue Eyes White Dragon out of Dark Duel Stories seems to be extremely expensive. And by extremely expensive, I'm talking about this card averages 150 bucks for a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, granted, out of all the cards that we've set, that we've went through, both Blue Eyes and Dark Magician are probably the most playable ones. Blue Eyes being the most playable out of the two. But it's still 150 bucks for a card that's been reprinted over five times. That is insane. Dark Arm has been reprinted multiple times, and it still won't retain its value. This Dark Duel Story Blue Eyes is definitely for the collectors, being one of the first Blue Eyes to be printed inside of the first game, game to be made for the series. And it's just an interesting card with some nice artwork. I don't even think I have a picture. If I don't think this is the picture. No, this isn't the picture. And... I don't have a picture of it. That's just how far and hard it is to find. I'm not going to go on Google and find it. If you guys really want to see how DDS Blue Eyes looks, Google it. It looks pretty sexy. Um, the last card, which is, is still ironically funny, is Morphing Jar. Now, definitely, I'm not talking about this pharaonic or 
this premium gold morphing jar. I'm not talking about the common morphing jar. I'm not talking about the rare morphing jar. I'm talking about the ultra rare morphing jar that comes in tournament pack two. Now imagine this border being regular and the monster effect or the monster name being ultra. And there you go. You have a $150 banned card. Now with that being said, morphing jar is the most expensive banned card on the ban list, topping around 140 to 160 bucks. Um, the hugest reason why it was so expensive was because it's morphing jar. It was it was a good card once upon a time. Morphing Jar wasn't just for players that wanted to play Empty Jar. Morphing Jar was actually one of those good cards. Um, the problem is that it came in one of the first tournament packs ever. Tournament Pack 2 being the second tournament pack made. Um, the second Astro, you know, which Astro Pack came from. The second Turbo Pack, which Turbo Pack came from. So you guys can kind of get the gist of it. It's a, an extremely old pack, which makes this card an extremely old card. Probably one of the more expensive cards from the older sets, period. Um, that would be topping the list of the five most outrageously expensive cards. All of these cards are extremely outrageously expensive, especially since every single one of them has been printed in a different uh, rarity and is a, it, I want to tell you it's probably a hundred percent cheaper than getting than getting the highest rarity version and some people just don't even bother so unless you're a collector I really wouldn't get any of these cards because they're just completely unplayable well thank you for watching another segment of the Cali Effect please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy.